And how's it going everybody, Dax of the Max here. And today, for this video, I'll be doing a Skyview Tower Guide. And yeah, I'll be going through all 15 towers that uncovers the map. So our first tower, we're going to start off out at the uh, lookout location, which should be your very first tower. I mean, I think it has to be your very first tower because you have to do this quest. Um, for Pura. So basically she hey. comes down, they turn it on, hey. and yeah, you're able to actually activate it. And you can see here, it's turned on, it's activated, you know a tower uh, when you see it, when it's bright and lit up uh, orange with the uh, spotlights shining upwards kind of gives you a good idea of uh, where these towers are at um, pretty easily locatable what i'd like to do is uh, i'd like to activate a tower and then use that tower to find uh, any other towers nearby And now that they're all activated, yes. after this cutscene, you're able to go activate them yourself. So you just examine. That out, uh, activates your fast travel point. get our paraglider so it's really important that we do this mission this main quest uh, as soon as possible in the yes. game so you can finally get your hands on the paraglider and you just examine that gives us all the equipment that we need into the air where we can start scanning. And that pretty much does it for our first tower. We have 14 left to go, and I'll see you guys when we get to the next tower. And here we are at the Lindor's Brow Sky Tower. You can see it's right there. And basically what we want to do for this is create uh, little wraps with the, um, the wood that we're given off to the side. And that will allow us to get as close as we can to uh, that cliff side so we can climb up. And that looks about good enough. Wait till our stamina recovers. And now we can climb all the way up to the top. Open this up and activate. I'll see you guys at tower number three. Okay. 
And here we are at tower number three. You can see it's directly east of Central High Road. And basically what we have to do to get to this tower, because somebody locked the doors from the inside somehow, doesn't really make sense how, is that we have to go to this cave. Now the game places a lot of boulders and rocks around, so you can fuse it to, to break this breakable um, stone. Here. Or if you have bomb arrows, you can take it rock to a safe distance and blow it up that way. So you want to break the first wall rocks, and then you want to go directly to your right and start breaking the rocks to your right. You don't want to go forward or lead into a cave with enemies. Unless you want to go into the cave with enemies. Now you can ascend directly where I'm at right now. Um, but I'm going to move this boulder out of the way. And we can get a, um, we call them bloopy gems. Bubble, bubble gems from bloopies, I think that's what they're called. But yeah, we can pick that up. I'm just grabbing some extra materials. And we switch to our ascend power. we can go right through into the tower itself. We just gotta pick those up. And then we can open it. You can also try burning the sticks through the wall, uh, but I was only able to get one stick burnt when I was testing that out. But you could probably get it to work if you fiddled with it enough. But yeah, that does it for tower number three. I'll see you guys at the next tower. And we are back and now at tower number four. Now, arguably, this is probably the first tower or the second tower you guys went to. I don't know why I went that weird direction, but I'm sure there was a reason. Uh, probably shrine hunting. But uh, basically... Uh, the problem with this tower is is that it has uh, all these enemies, a bunch of goblins, or goblins, uh, has set up shop uh, right where this tower is. So uh, you just want to kill these first couple. Um, when you actually get to the tower itself, they seem to lose aggro, so if you're early on in levels, you can try to run away from all these guys you can blow this guy up right here uh, be careful though because uh, this isn't my first recording of going through this tower I accidentally blew myself up first time um, hey these guys are gonna try and throw a spike ball down at you you just run back or you can even walk to the left and the, the ball won't hit you You can try and aggro all these guys, kind of make your way around, juke them a bit, try not to get hit like I did. But you should be able to sustain at least uh, one hit from them. And you can see the towers right there. So all you gotta do is run past all the enemies and open the door. Activate it real quick with your uh, Pura pad. And they'll stop uh, chasing you. Well, you just walk away. And yeah, that's it for uh, tower number four. I'll see you guys at tower number five. And here we are at the fifth Skyview Tower in the cold region, uh, directly north 
of the Rito village. Basically, you're going to come right here. You're going to climb all the way to the top of the village, fly across, and then you're going to make your way up through this path, and you're going to get to where I am right now. And the tower is going to be right there. You're going to see it the whole time, so you'll, you're going to know where to go. So, uh, as you can see, there's a ton of thorns over here, and the tower itself is surrounded by thorns. So, make sure you come with fire um, arrows, or, you know, fire fruit. Or, alternatively, you can uh, go down there to that bonfire and light a torch, and you can burn through the thorns that way. But I'd rather just do it this way. So you just burn these. They might even create a little updraft for you. And you can just fly over the rest of them. But the tower itself is definitely surrounded by thorns, so... Come around this way. fire going and here we are made it to the tower let's get that examine it get all attached To the next tower and here we are at the next tower guys uh, we're at the almost at the peak of the Hebrew mountains and it's directly in front of us so you're come from this tower or alternatively you can start the Rito village quest line it will lead you all the way through these mountains and stuff um, and then yeah it will also make it here that way uh, so now all we have to do is fly down there. There's no special um, quest to get this tower activated. Just simply fly over. Skip that. Examine this. And on we go to the next tower. See you guys at the next. And here we are at the next tower. Here we are at the Typhlo Ruins. Basically, I just um, went from this tower, went to this shrine, registered at the stable, and followed this road all the way up to the ruins. Very simple way to get here. Uh, this one does require a bit of a, um, a puzzle to activate. Basically, you want to take this guy out. And you want to grab these pedestals and bring them down. supposed to lose those, but that's fine. We can make do. Bring this thing. Okay. Not bring it all the way down. That's fine. And you want to attach these rockets to the side. Come 
climb back up. Right here. Oop. And move up, move it up as much as you can. Uh, yeah, that's good. Waited out one side because of the rockets, but that's fine. Those rockets up. Come up here. Float to about right here. And move it out of your way. That's it. Super easy. Activate that, skip that, and I'll see you guys at the next tap. And here we are at this tower, the Canyon Skyview Tower. Uh, basically what I did was I came to these woodland stables here and followed up the trail all the way up to here and you'll see it and you'll be able to easily climb to it. The issue with this one is, is that the cap fell off and the door got locked from the inside. So basically what we have to do is we have to get inside the tower we have all these uh, blocks raining down, so what we're going to do is we're going to climb on one of them and rewind them. And that looks like a good height. Right about there. go made it inside you gotta activate it first then we can open it all right and I'll see you. and here we are at the next tower it's located right here at the top right corner of the map um, very close to Tari town um, yeah, you can pretty much go through this southern part of Death Mountain and come straight to it. It just takes a little bit of climbing, but yeah, nothing too crazy. Um, to get this tower up and running, you need to kill that flying monster that I'm sure you can see all the way back there. Super easy. Uh, he has the main part to uh, turn on the tower. So once you try to kill him, like, uh, not that far away from the tower, because you're going to have to grab that part and bring it all the way back up. But he just goes in circles, so it's not a big deal. And here's the part that he dropped. Just gotta run this back. And now we can activate it. This tower is pretty important because um, it will allow you to jump on top of dragons and farm their materials if necessary. So getting this one as fast as possible is always best. And I'll see you guys when we get to the next tower.
And we're back at the next tower. This is the Upland Zorana Skyview Tower. This is the Zora's Domain Tower on the right side of the map. Uh, this will be an important tower for um, you to find because there's some uh, main quests here. Um, as you'll see when you get here, you'll find all these, uh, I don't know really what to call it, but it's just like dirty water, dirty tar. Uh, but basically, uh, you pick up these splash fruits right here, um, and also choo-choo jelly works as well if you don't, uh, if you already have some, you just do that, and that helps the uh, sky tower guy get up, and then you also... want to use the uh, either the splash fruit or the choo choo jelly right here on the door to open it up so you can talk to this guy be able to open this up and you can activate it and that does it for this tower. I'll see you guys at the next tower. And here we are at the next tower. There it is. As you can see, it's right there. It's about right here on the map. Um, but uh, it's surrounded by um, ice. So you can't really, you can't climb those. You'll slide down. Um, so this area is a little tricky because of... <laughs> the Ganon, Phantom Ganon hands that appear right outside. So, what I did on my first playthrough, because I got destroyed by them because I was still early on, I went up here. And you can attach them, uh, attack them directly from above. Try use an AoE type attack, like bombs if you have any. I don't have bombs. So I'll just be using whatever I got. Oh, that seems to work pretty well. They'll die and Phantom Ganon will appear. This guy is extremely tough. Um, he forms gloom under him and his attacks do gloom damage as well. So this is a guy you definitely want to be prepared to fight. Now, for when I first did this, um, I actually got him stuck in the corner to my left on my screen and I was able to get under him so he would try to attack me and I would just be too low on the ground for him to even do any damage. Um, looks like he deflected it. Looks like my earrings are doing good work though. If you keep attacking him, the gloom underneath you will disappear, so it's best to be on the defensive when you're fighting Phantom Ganon. Looks like he took out one of my gloom. Or I uh, took out one of my hearts, but that's all right. So he drops the Demon King's bow, which the more hearts you have, the more powerful it gets. And the Gloom Spear, which I can't pick up. That's all right. I don't need it. Well, I'll throw that out. these things. Now we come up here. There's just enemies all the way up. Let 
And also, that's what this spear does. It removes, um, or it, it gives you gloom. But if you stop using it, it restores your, uh, your gloom back to where it was. So really, theoretically, you could bring it out while you're in the depths uh, to restore your gloom. Or restore your hearts from the gloom. If you um, weren't near one of those brutes. And uh, that's, uh, I believe, the Shrine of Wisdom. Not really focused on that. meat before it becomes icy. Almost there. It's definitely a bit of a climb to get to this one. I'd say this one's would be um, the hardest. That's it. I'll see you guys when we get to the next tower. And we're back at the Rabella Wetland Skyview Tower. In the uh, southern portion of the map. And the puzzle for this tower is it's going to be always raining. Except when I first came here on my first playthrough, I like sat at a campfire and then it stopped raining, so now I just burned all the things. Um, you know, the normal way. But how it's supposed to be is supposed to be always raining, so it's impossible to burn these thorns. So basically, what you gotta do is you gotta use the supplies that are around this tower and build kind of like a makeshift roof for these thorns so you can actually burn them. Just light a fire and you can actually burn these thorns since there's a roof blocking the, the rain. Just to make sure you don't accidentally burn your roof down. And that should do it. And that is it for this tower. I'll see you guys at the next tower. And we're back at the next tower. This is where we are this time. Foothills. Directly in the center of the map. And the guy is not there. He is stuck in some ruins where he activated a tra uh, trap chest and got stuck. So if you go down that well, you'll be able to see uh, that he's down there, but you can't reach him. The only way you can reach him is by coming through this way. And going in this cave right here. Gonna come over here. You know, lay down this pressure plate. for releasing him. <laughs> then all you have to do is ascend. Then you'll pop out right where the tower is. And he's already up there waiting. Open it. Turn it on. And that's it. Oh, I have, I think, two more towers to go. And I'll see you guys in the next tower. And here we are at the next tower. This is the Gerudo Canyon Tower. Um, I pretty much just climbed and used the send all the way up around this side. 
and you're gonna be looking for the the guy who's supposed to fix the tower he's down here so this is a really simple puzzle all you need to do is distribute the weight on one side you can grab these metal crates and attach it to that until there's enough I think it's either two or three. Okay. And one more. Yep, that'll do it. And there he is. Wow. Talk to him. He's gonna go run over to the tower and fix uh. it up. And then all you have left to do is to activate it, and that's it. I'll see you guys at the next tower. And here we are at the final tower. So it's going to be on, on the west side of the map. And you'll see that it's completely buried in snow. So what we're going to do is... We're going to have to go underground to find the entrance. So, luckily there's a little cave nearby we can check out. Uh, let's see, it looks like we'll need to go a little around. Soul Joy Ride down the stream. Oh, and don't forget to oops, get that thing. Got it. Gym. Basically, what you want to do is not struggle like I am. Climb onto this. This is where the tower is. You can see from the mini map that this is where it's at. And you want to get the wooden plank stuck just like how it is right there you definitely want to make sure you don't drown we got lucky there but um, usually um, you can get stuck on the rocks over there and position it out that way and be able to swim to it so you just activate your ascend ability see if you can get a spot doesn't seem like I can. So what we'll do is we'll move it around a bit. We'll do this. Yeah, that'll do it. Like that. It's going to get stuck right there. Try it again. inside the tower and that will do it for uh, this tower's guide sky tower sky view tower um, it was a huge journey to get to all these but now that the maps open you can explore where you want to explore and yeah I'll see you guys in the next video